All right, welcome back to Rob's RC Insanity. Today we are bringing you the Isshin E119 helicopter. This is a 6G, 6-axis gyro, four-channel series. We're going to open up the box here, spin her around. Let's see what you get here. Now, I do have one battery in the helicopter already, and another one in a battery box. This was a four battery option that I chose. There's my battery charger. There's your remote. Here's your helicopter. As you can see, this is a fly barless, fly barless helicopter. It does run on these little three point seven volts. Let's see if I get my focus in here. Three point seven volt, three hundred and fifty milliamp, twenty five C batteries. You get about I'd say ten to twelve minutes flight time. You do get extra propellers. And here's your controller. Now the controller, this is mode two, so you've got your up and down, and then your left and right spin on this one. And then this takes your forward, back, left strafe, right strafe. Now your radio, does give you, let's see if I can get a good focus on this, there we go, let you know where you're at as far as your up and down, left, right, forward, back, so it does give you all that information right here in this little LCD screen, which I think is amazing, now you have your trim, this is for your rotation, this is for up and down. This is forward and reverse. And then this is your left and right. So it's got all your trim functions. Now this button up here on the top shoulder is your rates. So I can't remember if this is one, two, and three, or if it's just one and two as far as your speed goes. And then this button I believe goes to headless. I'm not quite sure. I've never used it. I don't know if it gives you any. This says 15 minutes flight time. Okay. Right here we go. It says right here on the box 15 minutes flying time out of each one of those little bitty packs. So, what we're going to do is. I'm going to get this plugged in. And my wife is going to help me record. So everybody give a big thumbs up for her helping me out here. We're going to plug the back helicopter in. All right, it is bound. Now I'm going to come over here to the edge of the garage. Take off from right here. Let me fix the body real quick. It does just sit on these little posts. Alright, body's fixed. It's a tiny bit breezy out here, but I think we can manage. Very smooth, flying little helicopter. Oh, 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 come here. 
wind is blowing straight at me right now. So, kind of over and under the wind here. Good looking little helicopter. Like I said, it flies very well, but it is very fast. So, it's super hard to film because once I take off with it, it is gone. It is quick. changing directions it speeds up tremendously hey would it be good for do what hey would it be good for what would like it be good beginners for? like level one uh, this is not a beginner helicopter this thing is very quick I mean, it's not a stunt helicopter by any means but it is very fast Got her hovering right here. Back her up just a bit. So you can kind of see her. Back her up again. Trying to fly very slow. It's hard to fly slow with this thing. This is a very quick helicopter. Oh. This clips look kind of bug. Yeah, it is hard to throw the brakes on this thing. Oops. It darts around like a little dragonfly. to slow down trying to get her slowed again there we go oh and down we go crash landing Everything is good shape. Just gotta get the body back on again. Pop it back in this little hole here. Alrighty, we're in good shape. We ain't caught that one. We're gonna take off from right here. Nice little hover here. This helicopter is difficult to fly, especially once it starts getting some speed up. I try to I 
Try to keep her as tame as I can. These videos. When she takes a quick turn, she takes off on you. I'm going to ease back over here. Down a bit. Touch down there. That is the Ishin E119. Great little helicopter. Tons of fun to fly. Let me pull this prop back here. Let me see the side of it there. Great little helicopter. A lot of fun to fly. It's not, it's really not that expensive. Uh, if I can recall, I think this was somewhere around a hundred bucks back when I bought it, which I've had this thing for a year or better now, so it's hard to tell with inflation. But uh, I want to thank my wife for videoing this for me. That was amazing of her. So everybody give her a thumbs up. Appreciate her doing that. It's hard to fly in video at the same time. And uh, as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Give me a subscription if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.